everybody, how's it going? My name's Josh and this is Oscar. Say hi Oscar. Hi. Hi. Um, welcome. We have literally just purchased this lovely specimen of a Land Rover Defender 110 County. Um, it's a TD5 and it's superb and I've always wanted one since I was about his age. So we finally got one. I finally got my own truck, my own that Land Rover Defender. Someone sold it. Yeah, well, someone sold it to us, yeah. Um, and it's not perfect in any way, made, uh, any way, shape, or form. It's got a lot of bit problems that we've got to fix. Um, and it, it's a Land Rover. It leaks, it's got holes in it, now the door's shut properly, you know. But it does have new tyres and a new exhaust, so that's a win. Um, the thing runs, it runs nice, but I think there's some issues there. Um, one of the main jobs that we do need to do on it, which is why I got it for the price I got it at, is it does need a new chassis. So that will come in time, but chassis aren't cheap. So, for now, we are going to make a load of videos up as and when, and we're going to run through the problems, and we're going to fix them, we're going to put it all on YouTube, and whatever social medias we've got. And um, hopefully everyone can come along for the ride. So, um, and maybe inspire you guys to tackle some, some mechanical issues of your own with a Land Rover or without, you know, with your own car. So that would be really good. Um, but if I can do it, anyone can do it. Because I have no mechanical skills whatsoever apart from what I've already picked up myself. Um, so yeah. So first things first, let's have a look around the vehicle and um, see what we can do now. Right. So first things first, I am going to get rid of these steps. They are all bent, as in like they are really bent, and they, right, <laughs> and they are so rusty. Um, but they're actually quite solid. Nice. So we're going to get rid of them. This is the chassis. The chassis looks absolutely awesome. Right, all the way through. Doesn't look too bad, doesn't look too bad. Until you get to here. And then it's really bad. So this is the major issue and why this truck is not roadworthy at the moment. The new rear cross member on which you can see here, Hang on, let's get that in there, which you can see here. Um, but they didn't take the body off or didn't weld the top half. Hang on, you guys see? The top half of the chassis here. So they didn't weld that bit. What are you doing? So, because they didn't weld the top half, water got in the top, ran down to this, ran down to this, and rusted it out. Great. Thanks for that. But, where every cloud has a silver lining, I guess, um, once I put a new chassis on it, hopefully, well, it will be a galvanized chassis, I will never have to touch that ever again. Going back this side as well, the step is all bent and rubbish. So that's gonna come off. Um, we've got a small diesel leak, which I think is a diesel pressure regulator. So that'll have to be changed, but I might do that once the chassis is being changed because the engine will have to come out, which isn't too bad. We've got some bad rust here on this capping, which we'll have to change because that is rusty all the way in the boot and behind this so i can't get out right now okay wait. anyway it's behind there it's rotten um but we're not worried about that right now um okay so yeah you can see that there's one or two issues with the defender but we're going to get it sorted all in good time i can't wait to get this beast up on the road and um go and on our adventures with the missus. And um, 
But yeah, so um, hopefully you guys can uh, stick around and um, I'll try and get a video up every time I do something with the Defender. And, um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to getting stuck into it. I can't believe I've got one. I've, I've waited, oh, I've wanted one for years and years and years and now I've got my own Land Rover 110 Defender. Buzzing, it needs work, <laughs> it needs a lot of work. But then I'll get to know it a little bit better, I suppose. So yeah, so first things first, we're gonna get rid of those rock sliders. They'll be coming up in the next video, um, the side steps, because they're all bent and rusty. We're not enjoying them too much, get rid of them. Um, I think the first few videos is gonna be probably me taking things off the defender more than actually me adding anything, which is good. Um, my, I think I might've said before or a bit earlier that my first job, major job, which I'm gonna do with it, is replace the head gasket. I think I've got a little issue there with some combustion gas and the coolant, um, but I'm not gonna say too much about that because I'm a bit bit worried, obviously, that it might be a bit more terminal than just a head gasket, but well, um, it runs good. I mean, you guys have seen the video at the beginning that the truck sounds sweet, but that doesn't always mean everything. So anyway, so keep tuned. Next video coming up ASAP. Um, any likes would be much appreciated. I'm pretty new to this YouTube thing. I've done one or two videos in the past of other things, but this is gonna be mega. Um, so please like any comments on the Defender that are worth knowing. Um, please put them in because I say any, any knowledge is gonna be useful to me. Um, so yeah, please comment and, um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys, bye bye.